What's going on, my Sith friends? Darth Kimchi here. Welcome to the show. I was going over the leaderboard and I noticed some golden information that is super useful. So if you're new to the channel, I'm trying to help people that are coming up through the divisions to be able to dominate by the time they reach Division 3. So I talk about controlling your relics. You know, don't go so too crazy. Spread it out. So this is going to be some great information to back that up. So we'll go over number one, number two, and then last place braze. So let's get into it. So he does have negotiator. He does have a pretty decent fleet. We'll breeze through it real quick. So the fleet's not what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to go over his roster. So he's got Padme, you know, and that may not be his main squad, so we'll get into it. So we're going to talk about his galactic power is 3.6 million. His is higher than mine. Mine's only 3.2. So you want to put it in the order of gear tier. Pops all the relics up on top first. So let's count them. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's only got 25 relics. I think I have like 32. Now we're going to put it in order. I will keep it there. Let's count how many relic sevens he has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Eleven. Wow. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen a roster with that many Relic 7s. You would think he would be number one. So let's put an order of power. Go over his main four tunes. So your top four tunes, you know, matchmaking puts in, you know, whoever you're using in Grand Arena, how many tunes you can use, and the power combined of all those tunes and how many Relics you have, uh, how many Relic 7s you have. So basically, that's why he only has 25 Relics versus my 32. He has too many Relic 7s. So Vader, okay, Vader should probably be like your third highest Relic tune. He's got no top tier team like Gas or Darth Revan. And he has Brood Alpha as his second highest power tune. So Matchmaking doesn't think, okay, it's Brood Alpha. No, you know, that's, that should be Darth Revan or Gas. And then he's got Padme. Padme should probably be like your fifth or sixth top tier team. And he's got Grandmaster Yoda. So, you know, they're good tunes. Really good uh, roster. But the reason why he's losing is he doesn't have top tier teams. He's got too many relics. So it's factoring into matchmaking. So he does have a good squad. Not knocking him on that. All right. So now let's go to rank number one. So this guy, I don't think she would be in this division, but um, all's fair and fair. He does have Negotiator, um, seven stars. He's got a great fleet. You know, I was able to get through it with the two-team uh, counter. You put in a trash team first to get them to use all their specials, and you clean it up. I used my five-star Negotiator with only two ships off the bench and beat them. Okay. I think if I just put something better on the back wall, like I put Bad Batch, four star. I don't know why I even did that. I have two I had two leftover teams that I didn't even use. If I put those on defense, it probably could have gone a different way. I probably could have won. So putting the correct teams on defense is also very important. I'll probably go over that in a second. So take a look at his roster. So go gear tier. Count the relics. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 36. Now, that's crazy. Now, he has more than I do, so what's he even doing in this division? Anyways, because you control your galactic power. It's only 3.4 million. It's only, you know, he's less than the guy who lost, and he's a little bit more than me. But let's go in the order of power. Okay, let's look at his top four tunes. All right, so he's got Supreme Leader Kylo Ren as his top tune. Wow, okay, you know, versus the other guy who had Vader. And then he has Gas and then Darth Revan. Ooh, this this homeboy, man. I hope he uh, comments. I uh, messaged him in game chat. Wow, crazy roster. And then he's got, okay, Padme. Okay, cool. Got a good Padme. Kenobi. So, really good. That's how your first three or four power tunes should be. 
All right, we'll breeze through his roster. If you guys want to be number one every Grand Arena, make sure you have a top fleet. He has Negotiator. Uh, make sure you have Control Your Galactic Power. You know, he does have a lot of Relic 7s as well, but we'll breeze through it. He's got that Vader. I wonder if my Vader hits harder than his Vader. I think my Vader has higher crit damage. And yes, my crit chance is way higher. My damage is way higher. Okay, I, I feel a little better. All right, I'll turn that down a little bit. All right. Malik, that's awesome. Does he have a mod for tenacity? No, he has a mod for health. He won't percent tenacity. I hear a high tenacity Darth Malik in solo squads. Okay. Really good roster. Really good. Hermit Yoda, seven stars. That's great. He doesn't even have Commander Luke Skywalker, but he didn't need him. He looks nice little roster. All right. Now let's go take a look at my roster, and then we'll get out of here. All right. And then second place. So I have Negotiator, five stars. You know, Jake Harris at my squad arena team. I usually use Gas and the 5 will first. But order of gear tier. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I have 32. Let's cap my Relic 7s. 1, 2, 3, 4. I only have three? Wow, let's count that again. One, one, fives, Vader, two, gas, three. Wow, so I only have three Relic 7 tunes, and I usually get number one or number two all the time. It's because I have a well balanced roster. Now we go over to power. Like I said, top four tune should be really good teams. You got to have that big bang team. General Skywalker beats everything out there except for some GLs, of course. He is he is using GL counters. And then Vader. My Vader takes out whatever their second best team is. No problem. Easily. They barely move. And then Commander Luke Skywalker, you got to have a good squad. They're viable. I use them on defense sometimes and they get a hold. Jedi Knight Revan. My Jedi Knight Revan is modded very well. At 306 speed, I can usually mirror match, take out any Jedi Knight Revan easily. You don't need the Relic 7s. Control your Relics. I said the more Relics you do, the harder it gets. You know, you see me taking out... We'll go to my squads real quick. So this team right here, this Jedi Knight Revan squad, with Relic 5, Jedi Knight Revan, Relic 6, um, Grandmaster Yoda, I can take out... Full Relic Padme team. So why go higher? I'm leaving them where they're at. Same thing with Basla Sean Fallen. Or Basla Sean. I haven't relic her because they take out uh, Padme easily. And then Padme below. The way I have them here, I've barely just Relic Snips. I'm taking out uh, full Relic Kylo Ren Unmasked teams easily. So why Relic it more and make it harder? Um, General Grievous as well. So where I'm at Division 3, those are the kind of the main teams that I really need. So I had left over Ewoks and um, Newt. Could have used Newt. No, I think I have Newt on defense. I think I had my Treya team left. I could have put Treya on defense and probably done got some better banners. Okay. All right, guys. So I hope that was super helpful. Like I said, control that galactic power. Control those relics. All right, guys, got more roster reviews to do, uh, putting out more content as much as I can. If you enjoyed it, blast the like button. And until next time, Darth Kimchi signing out.